What up YouTube, this is Nike Addict 71 back at it with another video. And this is a review of all the gear I wore this season. So we'll start with just the my college gloves. They gave us these customized gloves. I got two pair. And then we are under armor school, so as you can see, I'm loaded with the gloves. So right here, we got the F4s and the F3s. The F4s and the F3s, pretty much the same exact glove. Only difference is uh the logo, how it looks, but uh, both great gloves. I this might be the best one I like out of all the Under Armour gloves. Uh, it's close though. The only bad part about these are that when they came in white, they got really dirty real easy. But the w nice thing about them is when you wash them, uh, they got uh, stickier. So that was the nice part about these. And then I had three pairs of the highlight gloves. You can see the skeleton print. And then I got the black ones too, right there. All right, so what was so great about the, all right, here's a little better lighting for them, but what was so great about these were uh, the feel on, with the wrist guard felt amazing. And like, uh, they, they were a little difficult to get on and off, but I like these the most like they felt amazing like when you put them on like the gloves felt good on you You don't have to keep on readjusting and um, I heard that these were a lot easier to get in and out of than the other ones but uh, they aren't bad and the nice part about this is that your hand doesn't move as much in your glove like you would with the F4s or even the Nitro so uh, I would I like these a lot so uh, these are real good ones uh, they're light they look good because they go up. They go up a decent way. They kind of look like you have a sleeve on, right? And it not necessarily looks like a sleeve, but it looks like you got tape on, which uh, it gives it the nice effect. And then we have the nitro gloves, which is just the smaller version of the highlight gloves. And there's the design. And okay, this is what I will admit: these are by far some of the stickiest gloves I've ever had. These ones, the stick on these are amazing. I love the grip on them. It never seems to vanish. It looks like Under Armour really stepped up their game when it came to their grip and their palms. The only the bad part is most of them came in white. And as you can see, the ones I used in games, like the Nitros, one pair of highlights, and the F4s, I used these too, but uh, they're pink, so it doesn't happen. But look how dirty they got. And because the cloth material they use right here to make them so light gets real dirty. As you can see, the grass stains, all that. And then you can see all the dirt in here. And washing helps, but I had to wash. I washed these a couple times, and they still are a little brownish. But uh, overall, great gloves. I recommend getting them when they come out again this upcoming season. And what's really going to be interesting is the clutch fit material that they're going to put on this, which I'll do a review of my highlight cleats. And uh, if you guys want, I will do a review of the Speed Flex again. If you need me to but then uh here we go these are the sleeves i had they didn't give us pink sleeves so i bought my own east bay pink sleeves then i had one pink uh or one white under armor swan uh two navy ones uh great sleeves like them they didn't fall as easy as you would uh with the nike ones they kind of stayed high and tight like i like them great here's the camo camo one i got camo leggings to match and hopefully we'll get the camo cleats. We'll get those this season. So when we go white on gray, it's going to look dope. And then, as you can see, I got bicep bands for days. The blue, the white, the gray. I'm trying to make our look, look as nice. Got the pink uh, wristbands. I kind of wore these all the way up on my forearm over top, at the very top of these. So it was an interesting look. I liked it. Those felt great. The only thing was you got a little hot because we played a day game for our pink game. So very interesting to use. And then we had the pink headband and the towels, which I like the towels. They have a real good feel to them because they're microfiber towels. And they seem to do a better job with the gloves and also visors than you would with a Nike one. So um, these were two the two uh, towels I'll use. I'll get an update, the new ones of these. I'll try to get new, updated everything. Like this year, off season, we'll get a whole bunch of new gear. And I'll come back with a new video. And uh, if you guys want, I will do compare and contrast of my the Nitro cleats that I had last year and the highlights because I had both of them. And then I'll also do a review on the Speed Flex again. A little more in-depth now that uh, more people have had it. I could do a little more review. I'll show you it with a Nike visor and uh Armour visor. So uh, 
like, subscribe, share, do what you gotta do. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Come out with another video.